A ninth grader from New York City has won the most prestigious middle school STEM competition in the nation this week. Now, this was a battle over the top student science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and he did it by folding a paper. Well, it's actually far more complex than that. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager with his story. As awards go, this one was a biggie for 14-year-old Miles Wu. I was so surprised. Smiling and humble as ever after winning the nation's premier middle school STEM competition, it's run by the nonprofit Society for Science here in Washington, D.C. Wu, a ninth grader here at Hunter College High School on the Upper East Side. He loves science, but he really loves origami. In fact, he spent nearly half his life teaching himself these intricate patterns. So this is a origami pattern called Mir Ori. It's scale independent, so you can make it really large, and it's also material independent. And what Miles discovered after testing nearly 54 variations of 18 patterns is they're not just strong, they're insanely strong. It can actually support up to 10,000 times its own weight. In fact, I'm standing on one right now. I calculated it's the same as if a New York City taxi cab would hold over 4,000 elephants. On top of it? Mm -hmm. Putting it another way? The best model that Miles created, which actually compacts the smallest, let's just say it can hold me. When I saw Miles' project right away, I knew it was pretty special. Because Miles did this with certain applications in mind for natural disasters like wildfires and hurricanes. Actually creating a prototype that could be used in real life to help people would be amazing. The judges here at the Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge thought the same thing. It's pure creativity of melding something very different into a real, a real world problem. An award not just for the project, but for the person. 100% can't wait to see where this goes. An origami architect folding what's paper thin into a big future. I'm Stacy Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Just remarkable.